start fresh, to start new, to put a new flag post down and say, from this point onwards, everything is new. And so I'm not going to judge, I'm not going to criticize, I'm not going to guilt myself for anything that happened in the past. Begin again as if this was the first moment. Begin again, back to the present moment, back to now. Okay, this is what's arising here and now. I'm going to let go of those things that weren't serving me in the past. I'm going to start again. I'm going to start fresh. So it's been a while since I've last recorded a video and I wanted to get back into things. And I remember when I used to really struggle to get back into things. When I would be thrown off my course, I would really be thrown off. It would be really hard to get back into just the habits and things I wanted to do. I would even like sometimes spiral out of control, procrastinate and just feel defeated. Just now, you might notice that I haven't recorded a video in a while. A lot has happened in my life. And not only did I do a bit of travel, but I encountered some health difficulties and ultimately I had to get back into things. And I wanted to get back into things. That's what I wanted to do, but when you get back into things, you gotta start small. I've got all these crazy projects I wanna work on and when I see them and I haven't worked on anything in a while, when I haven't even warmed up my voice, it feels a bit harder. It feels like there's some hesitation there. It feels like, oh, can I even do this? You know, it's been weeks, can I even do this? Do I even know how to talk anymore? Do I even know how to record a video? Do I have the skill set? And it just, you're missing that little spark of fuel to start the fire. So the aim of this video is just to discuss how to get back into a routine or out of a ride quickly. Because when we encounter something in our life, we stop following our routine and we find it difficult to get back into the flow of things. When things go south, we feel bad about it. We feel like we've lost control, uh, which makes it harder to even gain control. So. When this happened to me, is sort of two things I thought about, and I think these are the two biggest pillars. Number one is your physical body. You can't do anything if you don't feel physically sound. And so removing fatigue from your body, stretching it, feeling good, doing exercise, I know this all sounds generic, but it's actually really important. And it's something we can overlook if we are analytical or if we type of person that looks for complex solutions when the simple solution is actually the answer. I know I've done this in the past so much. I've really focused on diving into nuance and depth. And, and sometimes when I finally get to the most nuanced answer, I have realized that the simple answer is actually what the nuance was showing me. That through this depth, I realized, well, simplicity was the answer all along. And for me, somebody with my brain, it actually took me and required me to dive deep into it to understand from first principles, all the intricacies. But eventually I came to realize, well, this is just a fabrication. This is a lot of things that are just pointing me back to simplicity. And so, Yes, focus on simplicity. And in this case, focus on that physical body. Don't overcomplicate it. What's taking away from me feeling as good as possible? So that, that, is that scrolling, binging, watching TV, and just becoming really mindful of those things. Just cultivating mindfulness. The more mindfulness you can cultivate, the easier it's going to be. And I view these things as skills. So you want to view it as, I'm cultivating these skills, and I desire to be really good at this. You know, consider yourself somebody that wants to become an expert at, can I be mindful? Can I catch myself when I'm not engaging in behaviors that is satisfying me? Can I catch myself? Can I be, wow, I got you, I got you, I caught you, ha <laughs> ha. I see you now and I'm gonna change my behavior. So those two things, let me repeat them. How can I remove, improve my physical body as much as possible to feel good? And then what's taking me away from feeling good? What's taking me away from feeling as good as possible? 
and focus on those two things before you start to engage in um, getting back into your habits, back into your tasks. Um, so when I consider something like a reset, I'm really considering, I'm really desiring to start fresh, to start new, to put a new flag post down and say, from this point onwards, everything is new. And so I'm not going to judge, I'm not going to criticize, I'm not going to guilt myself for anything that happened in the past. This means that you may have to go through multiple cycles where you start fresh. Because what happens? Well, it's not you start and then you succeed. It could be you start, you do one or two good things, you go back on your own old habits, then you start feeling bad about yourself and you might go back into guilting and shaming and criticizing yourself for not being on the haha right path, whatever the hell that means. And so it's really about putting down a a signpost and saying, hey, I'm starting fresh, I'm starting new. And then when you may mess up, that's all right, I'm starting new again. And every time you start new, you're telling yourself, yes, I'm starting new. I'm, I caught myself. I discovered when I fell back on my old habits, I'm starting new. You want to take out the guilt, the blame, the shame, the criticism as much as possible. And this is another skill like mindfulness that you want to cultivate. Begin again. Begin again as if this was the first moment. Begin again, back to the present moment, back to now. Okay, this is what's arising here and now. I'm going to let go of those things that weren't serving me in the past. And I'm going to start again. I'm going to start fresh. So, you make a declaration to reset and begin again here and now from this moment forth if you are in this circumstance make that declaration for yourself right now when you begin your habit or your task or the thing you want to do pick a small one or small component of it and tell yourself this is easy this is easy this is easy and do the task in a very relaxed fashion as relaxed as you can do it as best as you can. Take as long as you need. Take a long time if that feels good. No agitation, no stress, no worry. It's easy and it's simple. And you wanna keep reinforcing this pattern of, this is easy, this is simple, I can do this. This is easy, this is simple, I can do this. You're gonna to start to feel more relaxed in the task, you're gonna feel better about the task. You're gonna feel like, this is a task I can do, you're going to feel more empowered, you're going to get more satisfaction out of the task. Because when we're agitated about something, when we feel like, oh, I gotta get I gotta get it done here and now, and I gotta gotta get it done quick, and I gotta be successful at it, and I gotta be good at it, there's all this pressure build up. You don't need that. Throw that out. And just say oh, I'm beginning again. This is easy. This is simple, I can do this. This is easy. <laughs> this is easy. And you wanna really reward yourself and feel great for completing the small task, as small as it is. You wanna really reward yourself. Reward effort, you might know Andrew Huberman, the playboy scientist, he talks about rewarding yourself for effort and when effort feels good when you can reward yourself that's when you are going to really do a good job as well say that if you can do something so small and it feels easy you can do similar tasks and even bigger tasks and they will also be satisfying rewarding and help to reset your mind back into things. So you work your way up from the small to the slightly larger, to the slightly larger, the slightly larger until you've got some momentum. For example, recording this video, uh, I had some notes and I just started. And as I'm recording, I'm getting back into it. It's feeling easy. It's feeling easier, feeling easier. I'm feeling more, more satisfaction from it even though I'm kind of messing up here and there, it's okay, it's all good. And so, yeah, this is my 
little guide to the getting back into things. I call this, I'm going to call this the um, non-blame reset protocol and you should repeat this as many times as you want or in, as many times as you are, is necessary um, and every time you do it and if you're really focusing on the mindfulness element really focusing on the body element feeling good um, and removing what doesn't make you feel good uh, you should retrain your mind retrain your brain to re-establish and to reform those connections back into your life so yeah try this guys let me know what you think i'm really curious to hear what you guys think and i'm so happy to be back on youtube after like two three weeks of not making a video i'm really happy and i just hit 150 subs and that is crazy to me to think about 150 people or maybe like a hundred but all these people are watching my videos and regularly I have like 20 30 you know returning viewers sometimes which is awesome to think about you know in the lot in the wider context you know 20 people it's not that many but imagine putting 20 people imagine putting 50 people imagine putting 150 people in a room with you like that's a lot of people and so from the internet we might lose sight of um how how many people things really are because we see like millions thousands whatever but it is pretty crazy to think about um that many people have watched my video and that many hours of watch time there so it's still early days for me uh, but I'm just really thankful for the 150 of you um, who are supporting me right now on this journey so yeah thank you